Now, following last night's shootings, community activists are speaking out about the need for change, and they're doing so while also sharing their own experiences with violence. Allie Peters joins us now in the newsroom with why these folks say this trend is so concerning. Allie. Adam, youth have been both the victims and the perpetrators in a variety of crimes this year, from police chases to fights at school to students getting shot while walking to the bus stop. Crime has definitely impacted our community's youth, and activists say they're working together to be a resource for those in need. It's like a Grand Theft Auto game. They're still in all these cars, and they're Shooting people. Serena Cotton started Rock the Peace, a grassroots organization, after losing her son at 16 to gun violence. Waking up and hearing five teens had been shot was difficult. What could be going on in someone's mind to ride by a group of females? and start shooting. Rock the Peace provides mentoring programs for youth who have been affected by violence, and their work has picked up in the recent months. But Cotton says they're just one of many organizations supporting youth that people can get involved with. But need to stop talking about what needs to be done and do something. To support youth, numerous activists are teaming up to offer resources. Mike Well Powell has been working alongside Rock the Peace, and he says his biggest focus is preventative measures, something he knows the importance of. When I was um, 21 years old, I went to prison for a violent um, shooting myself. It didn't just start there that day that I, that I went to prison. Um, I was having a troubled youth from 13, 14, 15 years old. Powell helps people leaving jail reacclimate in society and says current violence among youth worries him. A lot of the times we, we respond. But we get upset when we see a homicide or when we hear about a shooting. Uh, but I think that we need to do more on the preventative side to even to try to to try to stop those shootings and homicides from taking place in the beginning. Now, last night, the Monroe County Legislature passed legislation that will provide funding to many local nonprofit organizations, including Rock the Peace. Now, that's to make sure they have resources to continue addressing violence on the streets. Live in the newsroom, Allie Peters, News 8.